The carnivore diet is simple meat and lots of it. This diet, which has gained a significant following in recent years, revolves around the consumption of only animal products. Imagine a plate filled with juicy steaks, crispy bacon, and tender chicken, with no room for anything else. No fruits, no vegetables, just animal products. This means saying goodbye to the colorful array of fruits and vegetables that many of us have been taught are essential for a balanced diet. Instead, followers of the carnivore diet focus solely on meat, fish, and other animal-derived foods. Proponents claim it cures a variety of ailments and leads to weight loss. They argue that by eliminating plant-based foods, they can reduce inflammation, improve mental clarity, and even alleviate chronic conditions. Testimonials often highlight dramatic weight loss and muscle gain, painting a picture of a diet that promises not just health, but transformation. Its simplicity and bold claims have attracted many, but is it too good to be true? The diet's straightforward approach appeals to those who are tired of counting calories or following complex meal plans. However, the lack of variety and the exclusion of entire food groups raise questions about its sustainability and nutritional adequacy. The diet's popularity is undeniable, fueled by social media testimonials and celebrity endorsements. Influencers and celebrities often share their success stories, creating a buzz that draws more people to try this unconventional way of eating. The power of social media cannot be underestimated in spreading the allure of the carnivore diet. People are drawn to its restrictive nature, finding it easier to follow than diets that require calorie counting or complex meal planning. The idea of eating only meat simplifies meal preparation and planning, making it an attractive option for those who prefer a no-nonsense approach to dieting. However, this extreme approach to eating has raised concerns in the medical community. Many health professionals worry about the long-term effects of such a restrictive diet, particularly the potential for nutrient deficiencies and other health issues. The complete absence of plant-based foods raises red flags, especially when considering long-term health consequences. Fruits and vegetables are rich in essential vitamins, minerals, and fiber, all of which play crucial roles in maintaining overall health. The lack of these nutrients in the carnivore diet is a significant concern. Could this all-meat approach be a recipe for disaster, particularly for the heart? High consumption of red and processed meats has been linked to increased risks of heart disease and other chronic conditions. As the debate continues, it's essential to weigh the potential benefits against the possible risks before embracing such a radical dietary change. Heart disease is the leading cause of death worldwide, and its prevalence has been increasing for decades. The first recorded heart attack in America, a seemingly distant event in 1912, marked the beginning of what would become a major health crisis. What started as a rare occurrence quickly became a growing concern. As the 20th century progressed, heart attacks became increasingly common, claiming more lives each year. Despite advances in medical technology and treatment, heart disease continues to plague modern society. This begs the question, why are we seeing such high rates of heart disease and what role does our diet play? Interestingly, the rise of heart disease doesn't directly correlate with meat consumption. In fact, meat consumption has decreased over the past 200 years, while heart disease rates have soared. This apparent paradox challenges the notion that meat alone is the culprit. This disconnect suggests that other factors are at play. The modern diet, laden with processed foods, refined sugars, and unhealthy fats, has emerged as a significant contributor to heart disease. While reducing meat intake is important, it's not the only solution. We need to examine the bigger picture, considering the impact of all dietary components on our cardiovascular health. One such culprit lurking in many kitchens is trans fat. These artificial fats created by adding hydrogen to liquid vegetable oils are often found in processed foods, baked goods, and margarine. Trans fats are particularly harmful to heart health. They raise LDL cholesterol, the bad cholesterol, and lower HDL cholesterol, the good cholesterol, increasing the risk of heart disease more than any other type of fat. While awareness of trans fat dangers is growing, these hidden dangers still lurk in many food products. Reading labels carefully and choosing foods without trans fat is crucial for protecting your heart. Section 5. The Saturated Fat Dilemma the carnivore diet, with its emphasis on animal products, is inherently high in saturated fat. While the link between saturated fat and heart disease was once considered definitive, recent research has muddied the waters. Some studies suggest that saturated fat may not be as detrimental as once thought, while others maintain its connection to heart disease. The debate continues, leaving many unsure about the true impact of saturated fat on cardiovascular health. 
Despite the ongoing debate, it's clear that consuming large amounts of saturated fat, especially from processed meats and full-fat dairy, is not advisable. Moderation and choosing leaner protein sources are key. Section 6. Fiber. The Missing Link. One of the most significant drawbacks of the carnivore diet is the complete absence of fiber. Fiber found in plant-based foods like fruits, vegetables, and whole grains plays a crucial role in maintaining a healthy heart. Fiber acts like a sponge in the digestive system, binding to cholesterol and preventing it from being absorbed into the bloodstream. This helps lower LDL cholesterol levels and reduce the risk of heart disease. The lack of fiber in the carnivore diet means that cholesterol is readily absorbed, potentially leading to elevated levels and increased cardiovascular risks. This omission alone makes the carnivore diet a risky proposition for heart health. Section 7. The Gut Feeling The human gut is home to trillions of bacteria, collectively known as the gut microbiome. These microorganisms are not just passive residents, they actively interact with our body, influencing various aspects of our health. From aiding in digestion to synthesizing essential vitamins, the gut microbiome is a bustling hub of activity. This complex ecosystem plays a vital role in overall health, including cardiovascular health. The gut and the heart are intricately connected through a network of biochemical signals. When the gut microbiome is in balance, it produces beneficial compounds that support heart health. Conversely, an imbalanced gut can lead to the production of harmful substances that may negatively impact the cardiovascular system. A diverse and balanced gut microbiome is associated with a lower risk of heart disease. Studies have shown that individuals with a rich variety of gut bacteria tend to have better heart health. This diversity helps in maintaining a robust immune system and reducing inflammation, both of which are crucial for preventing heart disease. Fiber acts as food for the beneficial bacteria in our gut, promoting their growth and diversity. Consuming a diet rich in high-fiber foods like fruits, vegetables, and whole grains can help maintain a healthy gut microbiome. These foods provide the necessary nutrients for the beneficial bacteria to thrive, creating a balanced and harmonious environment in the gut. The carnivore diet, devoid of fiber, can disrupt this delicate balance, potentially leading to an overgrowth of harmful bacteria. Without fiber, the beneficial bacteria in the gut may struggle to survive, allowing harmful bacteria to proliferate. This imbalance can have far-reaching effects on overall health, including the potential to increase the risk of chronic diseases. This imbalance in the gut microbiome can contribute to inflammation, which is linked to an increased risk of heart disease. Inflammation is a natural response of the immune system, but chronic inflammation can be harmful. An overgrowth of harmful bacteria in the gut can trigger an inflammatory response which, over time, can damage blood vessels and lead to heart disease. The long-term effects of the carnivore diet on the gut microbiome and its implications for heart health require further investigation. While some short-term studies have provided insights, more research is needed to fully understand the impact of this diet on gut health and its potential risks. Scientists are continuing to explore the complex relationship between diet, the gut microbiome, and overall health, aiming to provide clearer guidelines for maintaining a healthy gut and heart. Section 8. Inflammation, a burning issue. Inflammation is a natural process that helps the body heal and fight infection. However, chronic, low-grade inflammation can damage blood vessels and contribute to the development of heart disease. Diets high in saturated fat and processed foods, like the carnivore diet, can promote inflammation. Conversely, diets rich in fruits, vegetables, and whole grains, naturally low in inflammatory compounds, can help reduce inflammation and protect the heart. The carnivore diet's potential to promote inflammation, coupled with its lack of anti-inflammatory components, raises concerns about its long-term effects on cardiovascular health. Section 9. Your Heart, Your Choice The carnivore diet, while appealing in its simplicity, raises significant concerns about its long-term impact on heart health. This diet, which focuses exclusively on animal products, often includes high amounts of red meat and other sources of saturated fats. While some proponents argue that it can lead to weight loss and improved energy levels, the potential risks cannot be ignored. The high saturated fat content, lack of fiber, and the absence of essential nutrients found in plant-based foods can pose serious health risks. Saturated fats in particular have been linked to increased levels of LDL cholesterol, which is a major risk factor for heart disease. Additionally, the potential for gut microbiome disruption is a significant concern. 
our gut health is crucial for overall well-being and a diet lacking in fiber can negatively impact the diversity and function of our gut bacteria. This disruption can lead to various digestive issues and may even affect our immune system. The promotion of inflammation is another critical issue. Chronic inflammation is a known contributor to many chronic diseases, including heart disease. Diets high in saturated fats and low in anti-inflammatory foods such as fruits and vegetables can exacerbate this problem. It's important to remember that individual responses to diets vary. What works for one person may not work for another. Factors such as genetics, lifestyle, and overall health play a significant role in how an individual's body responds to a particular way of eating. Genetics can influence how we metabolize different nutrients, while lifestyle factors, such as physical activity levels and stress, can also impact our dietary needs. Overall health, including pre-existing conditions and current health status, must be considered when evaluating the suitability of any diet. Before making any significant dietary changes, it's crucial to consult with a healthcare professional. They can provide valuable insights based on your unique health profile. A healthcare professional can assess your individual risk factors, provide personalized advice, and help you make informed decisions about your diet and overall health. They can also monitor your progress and make adjustments as needed to ensure that your dietary choices are supporting your health goals. Personalized advice is essential because it takes into account your specific needs and circumstances. This tailored approach can help you achieve better health outcomes and avoid potential pitfalls associated with one-size-fits-all dietary recommendations. Making informed decisions about your diet involves not only understanding the potential benefits and risks, but also considering how sustainable and enjoyable the diet will be for you in the long term. A diet that you can stick to and enjoy is more likely to lead to lasting health improvements. Your heart will thank you for it. By taking the time to carefully consider your dietary choices and seek professional guidance, you can support your heart health and overall well-being. Remember, your heart is at the center of your health, and making thoughtful, informed choices is the best way to take care of it.